So, okay, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to look at how to easily do a COP conversion. So to convert your, for example, distributor system or wasted spark system like this one from, an, from a Miata to a coil on plug ignition system like with these Volkswagen coils. First of all, I want to look at a few different ignition systems. This spark plug is going to represent our single fire coil, which is going to use a single coil to go to a distributor with one spark wire. And then the distributor is mounted on the camshaft and distributes the spark to all cylinders individually. This would be the easiest method and has been done by a lot of cars since the, I don't know, maybe 1920s, 30s and so on. So this would be a very old system and uh, is also the most ineffective system as for spark strength. And this can lead to problems when, for example, boosting an engine or adding very high compression to an engine or running a different fuel such as E85. Then you might have problems with um, some misfires under load or uh, just some other things. One thing you could do is close down the gap of the electrode to the, uh, of the spark plug. That's a method to uh, reduce misfires in some cases, although that only helps a bit and is only like a band-aid solution for a problem that's really in the ignition system just being too weak. The next stage which a lot of cars in the 90s started to use is like a wasted spark setup. In this example here we have a Miata coil pack which uses two coils with four outputs for the four cylinders. Connected to here are four spark plug wires to each cylinder and each pair fires once. So this fires, so these two fire and then these two. These two, these two, these two, these two. So two cylinders at once fire the spark. And because only one cylinder has fuel in it and the other one is on a different stroke, then the other spark basically that also fires is the wasted spark. And that's why it's called wasted spark. In this system, it's not really reliant on power or rather it is um, not really an issue of power, but most of the time the stock Ignition coils are just pretty weak and also a limiting factor are the ignition wires or the spark wires that often break or just are not of high quality and therefore limit the power they can give to the spark plug. A different method would be the single fire coil which would be a single coil that electronically internally distributes the spark so it has one input or rather gets voltage from the battery and then outputs to all four cylinders or however many cylinders there are, but does it electronically and not with a distributor. But those also can be quite hit or miss depending on what setup you run and don't really like high boost levels that much as they have don't have that much power compared to, for example, this one. No matter if you use this, like a Volkswagen coil, or you could also use like a GTR R35 coil or Toyota Yaris coils or LS coils, they are pretty much very close with, within each other as for power goes. So as for spark power, um, but these just happen to be the cheapest where I can get them. They are about like 25 bucks a piece. So for example, if you had an old JDM 90s car and or just a Miata and this spark pack or this pack fails on you, you would be able to buy four of the cops for the price of a new one of those. And even the new one of those is not an original Mazda part, but it is a remanufactured part from a different uh, manufacturer. So you, you might not get the same quality as the OEM one. So with these ones, you will need a different wiring harness for the coil on plug setup. But don't worry, it's pretty easy and can be done within like half an hour if you're decently fast. And how that's done, I'm gonna show you now. 
So as an example for this, we have a Toyota 4AGE 20 valve here, which is a four cylinder engine and I have done a cop conversion on it. And I want to show you how to wire all of this because it's pretty easy and pretty much all of you should be able to do this at home. So any smart coil like these uh, Volkswagen uh, coils, so Volkswagen, Audi, whatever, um, from NGK have in most cases, as I said, four wires going out of them. So you can see here, we have black, blue, black, and red. So these wires have obviously different purposes. Looking at the black wires, those are ground wires. So you hook those up either to the negative terminal of the battery or to the chassis, which is also grounded, or the engine block. I prefer either the battery terminal or rather the chassis as obviously the chassis is grounded to the engine anyway and the chassis offers a better ground than the engine most of the time although there shouldn't be much difference if all of the grounds are connected properly so much for the black cables now what about the other two cables the red cable is just power for the coils so this is going to be hooked up to 12 volts switched with ignition while you could hook this up to the if you for example had um, a stock coil that was running like a distributor before then you could just hook all of the four coil packs up to that one uh, wire and that supplied 12 volts to the old coil or to the old coils if you for example ran wasted spark for example on a miata engine um, that would be a possibility or use a switched 12 volts so that is active when the ignition is on uh, to the battery with a 10 or depending on how many cylinders you have 15 amp fuse so that's pretty easy as well now comes the complicated part and you can see that right here my in my case those are the red cables going into the cabin and those are on the coils themselves the blue or rather white cables in my case because i used blue and white it doesn't matter if you for example get other plugs or pre-pinned plugs that use different colors then they are those colors but in my case they are blue and white so those are the signal cables those are connected to the ecu and the ecu tells the coils on those cables or those wires when to fire because the obviously the 12 volts are supplied by the battery all the time and um, they coils obviously only fire when they get a signal and that signal is going to come from the blue and white wire so there are two options now to do this whole thing in most cases or in most older cars you will have a method of wasted spark ignition so two coils are firing at the same time uh, so when on a four cylinder engine two cylinders are at the top of the engine so at top dead center at the same time only one of those is actually having a power stroke so a uh, actually is igniting fuel the other one is basically there is no fuel in there at that moment so if you are firing two coils at the same time, for example, if you would have cylinder one and four at top dead center and both would be firing and cylinder one had fuel in the combustion chamber, then the cylinder four would be the wasted spark because there is no fuel and that spark is basically wasted. That's the easiest explanation I can give you. And Obviously you could do that with like six or eight cylinder engines as well. Although obviously there may not be two cylinders at top dead center at the same time. While that same explanation holds st true still so that uh, two coils fire at the same time, it may not be that two cylinders are at top dead center. So that would be wasted spark and that would be for ECUs that only offer two outputs or half the outputs of the amount of 
cylinders the engine has. And um, that's pretty easy and can be done on quite a few V8 applications. So there you could use a ECU that only has four outputs, for example, or if you have a ECU that only has four outputs and want to run a six cylinder engine, you would also use wasted spark and use three output channels for the ignition. And the other thing would be running sequential ignition. This is the optimal configuration where obviously every coil would fire at the designated uh, time where the air fuel mixture should be ignited in the cylinder. This obviously works by connecting every one of those wires to the designated output on the ECU. But depending on your ECU, you may have to look at the firing order within the ECU. So some of the ECUs have a predetermined firing order, order such as the Speeduino unit. And on some ECUs, you can adjust it however you want, such as on ECU master ECUs and you will have a diagram most of the time in the manual of how to configure that. I will show you the one I have right now in the Speedwino manual and how I have set that up. And so each coil goes to one separate spark output and then is fired at the correct time. On the four cylinder engine it would be one, three, four, two if I'm not mistaken. And that obviously needs to be matching with the ECU's firing order if it needs to. But you may be wondering now, can I run a COP setup on a stock ECU as well? Well, yes and no. Of course, on some sequential uh, Spark cars, like uh, 180 engines, there is already a sequential in ignition in place. So there you wouldn't have to do anything. But on the Miata, for example, you could run this on a stock ECU. Yes, it would work, but the coals might take damage over time because the dwell settings do not match what the um, Volkswagen coils, for example, need, or if you use other coils, for example, like the Toyota Yaris ones, and um, then you might overuse or overload the coils over time and they might get damaged by different dwell times that are set in a programmable ECU manually and are preset in a stock ECU. So you are not able to change them. So this might be not that great of an idea. Also converting a stock ECU car that uses a distributor to COPS isn't really possible on a stock ECU as well, because obviously you cannot really fire all four spark plugs at the same time that does not make much sense and i would stay at the stock distributor ignition because that should be capable enough for your stock engine and if you go turbocharged for example from an na engine i would recommend a standalone ecu anyways so that's basically it for coil on plug conversions how to do them what to look out for and uh, showing you that it's not that complicated to do because yeah well the kits that are sold by some people are like 250 or 300 bucks which is just not necessary and is kind of a lot of money for how little work it actually is and uh yeah if you like this video leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and otherwise i wish you a nice day and goodbye